Hello everyone and welcome back to the lab. In this video we're going to be making acetic acid. Vinegar is probably the most available source of acetic acid. It's approximately 5% but that's not enough for my purposes so in this video I'm going to make as concentrated as possible. Sodium acetate and sulfuric acid will react to generate acetic acid and sodium hydrogen sulfate. It's important that the sodium acetate is anhydrous. Sodium acetate is commonly found as the trihydrate and that has too much water for making this. Sodium acetate absorbs water readily from the air. For this reason it must be dried in an oven and stored in an airtight container. I have 24.5 grams of sodium acetate and 40 grams of sulfuric acid. This is about a 30% excess of sulfuric acid and this serves to dry the final acetic acid because sulfuric acid has a strong affinity for water. The maximum yield of this reaction is 17.4 grams of acetic acid and sodium bisulfate which will be too contaminated for use. I've set up for the reaction now. I have my 24.5 grams of sodium acetate in the flask. It's very full right now, but it should pack down when I add the acid. Up in the addition funnel, I have uh, around 40 grams of sulfuric acid. Um, and now we'll start to add the acid. I'll turn on the water to the condenser because it's going to get very hot and we'll start addition. Start slow, open it just a bit. You can see the drop going down and in. I let it cool down after the addition and when it was cool enough, I removed the addition funnel on top and replaced it with a stopper and now we're gonna begin to heat. I've started heating and you can see the vapor front of acetic acid is rising and pretty soon it's going to make it a condenser. I turned the heating off full too because you don't want to heat it on full all the time. As the vapors rise they heat the glass and they can slowly get higher and higher until they make it in the condenser. Oh and we're just going over the edge. The first drops of acid are starting to come over. It started to get very foamy and it was going to go in the condenser so I turned off heating. And if you look over here, we have our final yield. It looks to be about 20 milliliters of acetic acid, but we'll find out that when we measure it. The product is 14.72 grams of a colorless liquid with a melting point of 8 degrees Celsius. 8 degrees Celsius corresponds to it being 95% acetic acid, and that means I got an 80% yield. The other 20% of the acetic acid is trapped somewhere in this very dirty round bottom flask that's going to be difficult to clean. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.